hello to all my viewers this is a fast forward video for using google forms to make a simple quiz so let's begin sign in into your gmail account then click here and go to google classrooms you can create a class here and if your class is already created you can enter your class a class is already created here now if you do not have any class you can add you can go to this plus sign and create a class so i'm already going to this class now when i enter here i have to click on classwork and once i click on classwork i'll go to create now once i'll click on create i have a lot of options here i'll go to quiz assignment and after I go here, I have to give a title. So I'm giving it test demo since it's very quick. Then you can specify your instructions here. Attempt all the questions. So and then add if you want to add your test from anywhere, you can use any of these modes. Otherwise, if you want to create it, then click on create. But before creating, I'll quickly show you. This is for class six on the extreme right window. We can see class six for all students. You can change the settings the points. You can specify it's of uh, 100 marks, 50 marks, whatever points, due date and time. If you want to specify, you can specify the due date here. You can give topic here. You can create your topic just given it demo test quickly now let's create a quiz docs slides sheets drawings of forms we have to click on forms and it is creating a blank form for me untitled form so as i said this, this is a demo test form description you can give any sort of instruction here or anything for example as i said attempt all the questions and follow instructions so this is what i have written then there is a hanging bar at the right you can see there is add question button then import questions if you want to import from other place then this is about adding title and description if you want to insert an image in any question you can click here if you want to insert any video you can click here and then if you want to add another section to your quiz or test you can click here now it's an untitled question let me simply put it what is the sum of 400 and 600 so which type of question i want to give i want to give it as a multiple choice question so what is my option one my first option is wrong answer that is 900 i need to add another option my second option is uh, say 1100 and my third option is the right answer 1000 and then one more option i'm giving as say 800 or let's say with an extra zero right so these are my options now whether i want my test to be marked or not it's up to me whether i want the uh, question to be mandatory for the uh, student or not it's up to me so this required i'm turning on that it is mandatory to answer this question other i'm deleting these many options are there and if i want to allot marks here i need to go to settings and quizzes and make this a quiz so that it's a graded quiz and save the settings now you can see answer keys appearing here i'll quickly click here for the right answer the right answer is this so for this i want that five points should be awarded for the right answer so this is how it is done now if i want to add another question i'll quick click here and i'll give you another example for example um, I'm writing here simplify and then 700 uh, plus 100 minus 1000 now I don't want to give options for that but I want students to do it themselves so I am selecting short answer so it will leave a blank line here for students to attempt it in answer key it's my wish whether I want to 
give correct answer or not so as we can see the correct correct answer would be minus 200 so i'm putting it minus 200 as the correct answer mark all other answers as incorrect so this is done and if it is required mandatory i'll uh, turn that sign on and let me award marks five points for this one this is done and this is a mandatory question now let's quickly add one more question so that we are through with it uh, let's say let's say um, any question uh, for example um, what uh, is the um, product of and then 40 plus 70 minus 50 and then multiply by 0 now it's my wish again what type of question i want multiple choice checks box drop down any anything you can choose from here so it will be mcq again i can give the options here so this was very easy my first option is the right answer zero and if i want to add all so it will add all as the answers if it's my wish it's the auto generated options and then if you want to add other if the child wants to add some other answer then you can write add other and then let's go to answer key choose the right answer and award marks for it and done it's mandatory so three question go to this particular icon here which is preview click here you can preview your test like that what is the sum let's see you can check with the correct answers here simplify you need to put your right answer here and then this now if you'll choose another you say i want to write my answer let me put it like this but i have not entered this as the right answer so i am choosing it here as zero and submit my test i can view the score quickly all answers are correct but my name is missing so how can you add a name column quickly go to add question now here in adding question it is appearing here it is a multiple choice question no it's a short answer question and the question is write your name so and if you want you can add class or you can uh, add another question for it for your class so it is a short answer question it doesn't have any answer key because it's zero points so but it is mandatory for the student to answer it so you can choose it here do not allot any marks and it should not come in the end but at the top so let's drag it up to the top now if you will preview it will show it like this write your name and class followed by other questions so that was very quick if you want the detail of how to form full-fledged tests and assignments or assessments for students do watch my other video of uh, how to create tests or assessments using google forms which will give you all the details and insights that you need to form questions of different types you can click at the link appearing at the end of the screen. Thank you so much. This is Priya Hana signing off. Don't forget to subscribe. Yearn to learn. God bless you all.